Elon Rev Musk has been warned on multiple occasions about his actions in China. This latest notice states that the consequences will be unimaginable if he continues to build new plants in Shanghai for Tesla. You can find many products for everyday needs in China, like 360 degree mopping, portable sewing machines and more. The Chinese have come up with hacks and solutions beyond imagination. That is exactly what Elon Musk does too. He's been working to help humans inhabit other planets and his company, SpaceX, made a key move this week. Before starting the video, thumbs up this subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for further more videos like this. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Let's get started. Now, the quality of their products is not the best because they do not develop their products from earlier prototypes. Their products do not last long because they are developed poorly. On the other hand, they are copied from the Western world. Similarly, Elon Musk is not only influenced by science fiction movies because he tends to support and inspire ideas that are just next level advancements. If you're wondering what the connection is between Elon Musk and China, you'll just have to wonder. Elon Musk announced that China is a global leader in digitalization. He explained that while some Asian countries invest in only one or two sectors, China focuses on the technological development of different industries because they know this is their economic background. This is why he said that as long as the government continues to offer support in such areas, he will keep investing in his automobile industry. Elon Musk has used this opportunity to partner with the Chinese government in order to make Tesla the leader of all EV companies. Tesla and China have been working together for the greater good of the two parties, which will undoubtedly help their partnership down the road. Though this was back in the future, way at the beginning of 2021. Tesla and its Shanghai unit, for example, are getting closer, but not too close. They're like frenemies. Elon Musk still depends on the Shanghai Gigafactory for Tesla's main manufacturing needs. At least it seems like this is how the two countries want people to see the relationship. Why did they end up infringing each other? Copying SpaceX? The dream project of Elon Musk led them to the rift. This happened just like every Chinese product, all of which came into existence calling on the forging of China once they realized their lack of space exploration compared with other countries. After deciding to follow in Elon Musk's footstep, the Chinese government tripled its investment in space science. This projected cash flow is expected if they plan on launching 10,000 satellites within the next 5 to 10 years. As of now, China has only launched 432 satellites. Of all the satellites, including SpaceX's 775 satellites, NASA is now the world's largest satellite operator and they'll be working towards furthering their goals by developing new satellites and providing satellite data. You might wonder why China would try to replicate Elon Musk's astonishing achievements after they have already become so advanced in the space industry. Let us explain. If China were to achieve this target, a wider range of international users will have access to more products. We use SpaceX's unique brain to develop a technology where the geostationary satellites orbit exactly at 26,200 miles from the center of the Earth and 22,300 miles from above the surface. This cutting-edge SpaceX technology led to a remarkable time of 0.240 seconds for a signal to make a round trip. Not just that, SpaceX's satellite internet constellation Starlink is now in orbit 340 miles, which shortens the speed of light lag to almost 100 milliseconds. Last month, Elon Musk's Falcon 9 rockets helped the USA to launch around 60 satellites for SpaceX's project. It plans to bring broadband into access all around the world. Now that we have explained the technology that has been copied by China, let's turn to the evolution of AI. China's Starnet is a nickname for its 6,000 plus satellite constellation. We're pretty sure you'll agree that the two images are similar. You're rightfully upset that this new program has already been branded with a name. It's unclear how many people are happy with the name of Starnet. As the population of the Earth rises, it will be more and more difficult to find suitable land. There is already a literal race for space out there with only 1,000 birds to put on the land. Small companies in developing countries have been launching satellites for a while now. Similarly, when has this ever stopped? China is on the path of joining the space race, which will allow the country to see continued increase in technological know-how. They're quickly becoming a new contender in world affairs. I wonder if you have been to Beijing. They have been prioritizing making villages self-sustaining. China was able to cover ground-based telecommunications back then and achieve high signal strength. In the remotest regions of the country, however, improvements in networks are necessary to stay competitive. China has been relying on 4G and 5G networks for a while now. China is one of the leading countries in technology, providing us with high-speed networks China Telecom, China Mobile and China Unicorn. 
This is because of how hard it can be to find frequencies. Countries and companies are vying for new ones, which increase the competition, so more cats and mouse are always playing their game. There are some policy advisors who disagree with Starnet because they believe that it is unnecessary expense in light of China's current economic struggles. However, once Starnet is launched and operational, then its base stations can be decommissioned and depopulated areas. This will reduce the service cost. With that, the satellite download speed will grow to about 5 gigabytes per second. There's more. The unit cost of transmission can actually reduce to that of 4G. Now, you can say, just amazing. With all this talk of Starnet, let's take a look at what SpaceX already offers. They respond within 25 to 30 milliseconds, and their download speeds are about 1 gigabytes a second. Even though these statistics are not confirmed by SpaceX, Elon Musk has independently confirmed that the speed will be in 50-150 megabyte per second range, which is more than enough for our needs. Though there are many challenges and competitors to SpaceX, Elon Musk always take into account what happened earlier this year and remember to stay grounded and focused. Tesla surprisingly dropped a $574 billion in March after being at $837 billion the month before, but these statistics are from the beginning of the year 2021. The increased demand for electric vehicles and Tesla meeting that demand means that Tesla is breaking its own records with deliveries. For example, in September, 56,000 cars were sold in Shanghai Center. After the decreasing numbers in May, 241,300 cars were sold. Oh wow, that's unbelievable. Elon Musk has been responsible for a lot of positive changes in the world. Not only did he spike the sales and value of Tesla and become wealthier than Jeff Bezos, but he's also helped us to see that we can change this world for the better. The cars that were going to be affected by this price cut are made in Shanghai, and the new production facility is called Gigafactory 3. The manufacturers got 30% of the parts from locals, so production was completed within 10 months. The Shanghai plant can produce up to 500,000 cars a year, and that particular statistic. It makes about 450,000 AV units per year for the models, Model Y and Model 3. In addition to this, the cars that are built locally are exempt from taxes. The Chinese government also offers subsidies for them. Elon's estimated cost for the car could be even less if you bought all the parts from the local suppliers. Elon Musk and the Chinese government share a common goal of reducing oil usage. The Chinese government has placed a priority on more environmentally friendly tech, which will help reduce their dependency on fossil fuels. This will give a green light to EV manufacturers such as Tesla. Back then, not every country was quick to welcome Tesla or the disruption of electric cars. These governments are still skeptical about the sale of electric vehicles and how they can affect their economic development. Apparently, Tesla has been doing something right. Elon Musk has travelled to China multiple times, each time receiving a warm welcome. And of course, Elon Musk thinks there is a limit to copying. Unlike the Land Rover and the Rolls Royce, China did cross its limits by trying to forge SpaceX, which is pure technology that brings to them. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and press bell icon so you can get more videos from us and more updates. See you in the next one. Until then, take care and best wishes.